based on. I feel like Susan's giving us the wind up, so we're going to let her go. The time has come. We are thrilled he's come to Australia, come home to perform for you. Please give it up for Tim Minchin. <laughs> doesn't have a problem with drugs, he just doesn't do them. He's fine that his mates have tattoos, but he reckons they'll rue them. He likes going to pubs, but he hates it when the music's too loud. He tends not to go to rock concerts, cause he can't stand the crowds. All he's ever wanted to be is a rock star on MTV. But he knows that it's not fucking likely. He's over 40. He knows that he will always be a rock and roll nerd. He'll keep writing songs that no one knows about. But though it sounds absurd, he'll just keep playing. Oh, yeah, but you see, the problem is he always dreamt of being a star, but he learned piano instead of guitar, which in the 90s didn't get you very far. So while the other kids were learning stairway, he was the piano to their forte. But he was convinced one day he'd rock their fucking asses. And be an icon for the disenfranchised masses And grow his hair long and rebel against the state But just for now it'd have to wait Cause he's running late for his morning classes And he will always be a rock and roll nerd Who keep playing gigs that no one knows about but Though it sounds absurd, he'll just keep playing Oh yeah, but you see the problem is There's not much depth in what he's singing He's a victim of his happy middle class upbringing So he can't write about the hood or bling bling So he sits and imagines his girlfriend is dead To try and evoke some angst in his middle class head but the bitches always find at half past nine when they go to bed. And he's not spent a single night in prison. He has no issues with nutrition. He has no drinking problem and no drug addiction. Unless you count the drugs they put in chicken. And marijuana always tends to make him cough. He doesn't look good with his t-shirt off, but when he tries to act tough, you can tell he's tricking. While his mates will go out late, pop him pills and have him fun. He goes home and showers and gets a good eight hours. He gets the thrills from his morning run. While his mates will go on dates, taking speed and drinking cans of Jim Beam. He stays home and cooks, cause up with the book with the girl he's had since he was 17. Cause he's never really been part of the scene Give him guns and roses, he'll take Queen He's more into Beatles than the Stones He's more Stevie Wonder than Ramones And he's never owned a panel van He never shot a Pantera fan He doesn't know the difference between metal and thrash He couldn't tell you nothing about Axel and Slash He likes Ben Folds and the Jackson 5 He knows all the words to stay and though he tries to be all grungy and cool He spent 11 years at a motherfucking private school So it don't matter how he tries He cannot hide behind his rock and roll lies Cause you've either got it or you don't Yeah, you've either rock it or you won't Yeah, you've either got it or you don't Yeah, you've either rock it or you won't Here we go That his music lacks depth, but it just can't be helped. He has nothing interesting to say, so he writes about himself. But he doesn't want to seem self-obsessed, so he writes in third person. 
in an attempt to sound more rock and roll, but he says back says not working. Deep in his heart, he knows that he'll never be tame in parlor or Eskimo Joe. And even if he was quite pretty, with no pants like Miley, he knows that he will. Sounds absurd, he'll just keep playing. Oh, yeah. You might not rate him, but he don't care. But he wants to rock, and he will never be deterred. But he'll always be a fucked up little try hard, wanna be rock and roll. Oh, oh, oh. small but dedicated group of children and the elderly. It's my market, nerdy millennials and frustrated middle-aged atheists. It's a good time to be a frustrated middle-aged atheist. You can spend your days being very, very frustrated. Good films? I, I like all the films that I've seen. 100%, 100%. I'm glad I'm not Susan Sarandon. Sarandon. Sarandon Sarandon. Because she has to judge you. I judge you quietly to myself. All of you, individually. Hello, photographers. Having a good night? Is this a good gig? There's worse gigs. Could be standing outside Parliament House taking photos of people not having sex with each other. Could be worse. So boring. Why would you get into politics? Pay is terrible. Everyone's mean to you. You can't even shag your subordinates. A nightmare. It's almost like we're going to have to change the demographic of our leadership, isn't it? Almost. So look, we, we live in tough times. Um, well, you do. I'm having a ball. Um, and, and look, uh, and, and a lot of the, the films tonight have fantastic messages, and I, I don't want to just sit up here and be a narcissist, or at least I don't want to appear to be a narcissist. And so I just want to do this song I wrote about, um, you know, the, the arts in general, a lot about how we communicate with each other, and, and I'm obsessed by how, how language is, is, uh, holds power. And this is a song uh, about how certain language is, is burdened with a history of, of a lot of pain and, 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 um, and the ability to hold people repressed simply because of their colour. So this is a song called Prejudice. Take me seriously. In our modern free-spoken society There is a word that we still hold taboo A word with a terrible history Of being used to abuse, oppress and subdue Just six seemingly harmless letters Arranged in a way that will form a word With more power than the pieces of metal That are forged to make swords couple of G's, an R and an E, an I and an M. Just six little letters all jumbled together that cause damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect 
that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So never underestimate the power that language imparts. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can break hearts. A couple of G's, G's, unless you've had to live it. An R and an E, even I am careful with it. An I and an N, in the end it will only offend. Don't want to have to spell it out again. Ginger can call another ginger, ginger. Only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger. So listen to me if you care for your health. You won't call me ginger unless you ginger yourself. Only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger. When you are a ginger, life is pretty hard. The years of ritual pulling in the schoolyard. Kids call in your ranger and Fanta pants. No invitation to the high school dance, but you get up and learn to hold your head up. You try to keep you cool and not get head up, but until the feeling of ill is truly let up, then the word is ours and ours alone. Don't you know that only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger? Yeah, sing trumpets. Only a ginger. That is reasonably okay. So if you call us ginge, we just might come unhinged If you don't have a fringe with at least a tinge of the ginge And it only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger Now listen to me when I'm looking for sympathy Just because we're sensitive to UV Just cause we're pathetically pale We do all right with the females Yeah, I like to ask the ladies round for ginger beer And soon they're running their fingers through my ginger beard And dunking my ginger nuts into their ginger tea, yeah And asking, can they call me ginger? And I said, I don't think that's appropriate Cause only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger And all the ladies, they agree it's a fact Once you're gone, ginger she can't go back Only a ginger can call another ginger Ginger Yeah, go you funky mother I meant to do 15 minutes and I've only got two songs So I'm just going to do this for a while How to, shut a, how to shut a crowd up. You know, they used to solo all the time in music. You know, that was like the Grateful Dead and fuck you guys. Yeah, you can call us Bozo or Fire Truck. You can even call us Carrot Top or Blood Nut. Yeah, you can call us Matchstick or Tampon. How dare you? Oh, fucking with the G word is just not on. If you're a gingerphobe and you don't like us, we will stand up to the fight if you want to fight us. But if you cut yourself, you might catch gingivitis. So maybe you should shut your funky mouth. Only a ginger can call another ginger, ginger. Yes, yeah, sing it, sing it. Only a ginger can call another ginger. Fuck you. So if you call us ginger, you can't whinge if you're injured, if you don't have a tinge. Of the ginger in your minge Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger And you know my kids will always be clothed and fed Cause papa's gonna be bringing home the gingerbread And they'll be pretty smart because they'll be well read And by red I mean red and the other kind of red Yeah! It's a fucking homophone! Yeah! Only a ginger can call another ginger ginger Sing it one more time! Only a ginger just like only a ninja can sneak up on another ninja. Oh, only a ginger, only a ginger, only a ginger, yeah. Are you listening? I'm not pointing the finger. I'm just having a singer. I'm just reminding ya. That only a ginger can call another ginger. Ginger.